Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I watched Paul Ryan introduce Mitt Romney after he won the most recent primaries. One thing Republicans love to do is accuse the other side of the stuff that they're doing. And actually, he accused Obama of excessive partisanship, ignoring the fact that he spent most of his first three years in office trying to find ways to compromise with Republicans. He infuriated his own supporters and still got nowhere as Republicans walked away from their own ideas, as Republicans negotiated in bad faith. And Ryan also accused the president of sowing divisiveness. But what is so divisive about expecting, expecting rich people to be treated like everybody else's? It is the Republican insistent that rich people have special privileges and tax breaks and protections and power that is not available to everybody else, that is divisive. It is the Republicans who created the birther movement. It is Republicans who foster hatred of Muslims and accuse Obama of being one. It is the Republican candidates for president who went to South Carolina and engaged in race baiting of the worst kind in order to appeal to the Klan and the Nazis. It's the Republicans who are trying to take away voting rights from millions of American citizens. It is the Republicans who are trying to turn women into second-class citizens. Now, there was a time when these things were done in smoky back rooms and out of the sight of regular people. And even when things were done publicly, there wasn't the kind of coverage that there is now. But now, with the internet, finding out what politicians are up to is only a fingertip away. So Paul Ryan, Newt Gingrich, Santorum, and Romney can go out and make their little speeches. And their corporate sponsors can fill the airwaves with lies. But we all know what they've been doing. We know about the vaginal probes and the, and the racist statements. We know that they are so unpatriotic that they are willing to sell the country to the corporations who are funding them. And women know how little respect you have for them. Minorities know you hate them. And we all know that their party has been taken over by radical nut jobs. So let me say this to their corporate sponsors. You're wasting your money. You're going to throw away millions of dollars on political ads that won't work. Because everybody knows who the Republicans are. Thanks for listening.